I talk about being fearless all the time. Sometimes being fearless means that you're standing in one of your biggest fears and speaking your mind. I mean, for decades, since I was seven or eight years old, I've been petrified of graveyards, petrified to walk into them at funerals. But to be in this space right now and to know that God has healed me from that fear to be able to walk here on a day like this where it's clear, it's peaceful, and to reflect on the healing power of God. Just the thought of me standing here and speaking about God, speaking about the, the redemption and restoration that's happening in my life right now, I recognize that we were never given the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. See, what the enemy does is he tries to keep you in these places of depression and anxiety and tell you, well, you know what? God is not real or God is not going to accept you. God wants you to come in this space where you are broken, when you have doubted that he could heal you because of your shame, because of the sins that you've committed, because of the things that have brought forth guilt. I've been a liar. I've been a hypocrite. A manipulator, a liar, had sex with everybody you thought you loved? Yeah, that was me. Playing the victim when really I was the villain. I never wanted to end up here before God showed me the promise and showed me what my purpose was. You have a purpose, but how could you operate in a sound mind when you're thinking about what people are going to say about your change? People need you to change. If you've been thinking, oh, well, what if God is so angry at me for my mistakes? God wants you to come so that you can have a testimony just like this. You don't have to operate in guilt. You don't have to be ashamed because you are shifting, because you are changing, because you are healing, because you are surrendering. You don't have to be embarrassed because, oh man, you switched up, I did. People have been asking me, Thomas, how are you so fearless? My Bible is open. There's such a freedom in you speaking up. Those things that you are so afraid to say are probably the very things that you need to say to your mother or to your friend or to that man that hurt you or to that woman that never told you the truth. So now I propose a question to you. Would you like to see your promise because you were fearless? Because you chose knowledge? Because you chose light, because you chose to explore healing. Or are you gonna keep your mouth closed and end up in the darkness forever?